Uh, so the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation is remembering the life of trade unionist and anti-apartheid activist Dr. Neil Agate. It's been 40 years since Agate's death. He died in police custody after being found hanging from the bars of his cell in what was then known as the John Foster Square. Newsroom Africa's Mbali Titani is following the story. Live to us now from West Park Cemetery. And uh, the remembrance that you're marking there, Mbali, comes, of course, as we still digest the details from the Neil Agate inquest which took place last year. That's certainly right, and, uh, and as you've pointed out, it has been at least 40 years since he passed away. And of course, you'd know that uh, he played a, quite a critical role while he was a medical doctor. Uh, and you'd know that uh, he was a medical doctor in the Eastern Cape as well as in Gauteng. But it is here in Gauteng when he worked at the Baraguanath Hospital where he played a significant role uh, in the fight for those, especially in the labor uh, movement. So when you look at uh, his history and, you know, what it signifies, uh, you know, it, it is something that this, uh, the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation is here to highlight. Uh, this morning uh, for his fight for mainly at the time black people and black people's uh, labor rights but of course joining us here today just to tell us more about the man that was Neil Agate and the role in which he played in the struggle and of course for the freedom especially for black people under the apartheid era it is of course Prema Naidu uh, who is of course somebody who was also detained at the then John Foster Square and of course uh, I know that uh, you have explained to us that you did not know Neil Agate personally but when he was detained uh, you also found yourself at the John Foster prison and also endured uh, some of the hardships and, of course, the torture at the hands of the then apartheid police. Yes, that's true. I was detained uh, in November 19. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No problem. I was detained in November 1981, and Neil Eckert was detained more or less at the same time. And as you indicated, I did not know him personally, but we were interrogated by the same team of security police people like warrant officer Smith, Struvik, uh, Lieutenant Whitehead. These were the people that interrogated us for long periods of time. Uh, the interrogation included beating, uh, forcing one to kneel on one's knees, and yes. And then uh, in February, I was being held in uh, Fernigan Police Station. I was... Uh, the security police came to see me. They put me in, in leg irons and in chain. They didn't tell me where they're taking me. They brought me to John Foster Square, and I got a hostile reception uh, from the police. And my wife came to see me, and they gave my wife an hostile reception. It was later that I discovered the reason they allowed my wife to see me was that Dr. Agate had passed on. He was murdered uh, by the security police. And as we remember him today, it has been 40 years since he has passed away. What do you want South Africans to remember about the fight and the struggle that he endured? Well, I think South African men understand our freedom struggle didn't come free. We paid a heavy price. There were many people who paid the ultimate price, like Dr. Eggert, and there were others as well, uh, people like Luxler and Gidi who was murdered by the security police, and there were many people who paid their lives. And when we think of this day, we remember Dr. Agate, we must also remember that our freedom came at a heavy cost. Yes. Thank you very much. Of course, Ayanda, that is Prema Naidu, who is somebody who was also detained uh, at the then John Foster Square, uh, just talking about his experience. And while he was at the prison, uh, that was when uh, Neil Agate had passed away. Of course, just highlighting uh, the significance of today and also remembering uh, how important this kind of history is uh, to South Africans, especially when we enjoy the freedoms that we have today. But I must say that uh, we can already see a number of people are beginning to make their way. I'm just going to ask my colleague here to pan for you just to show you uh, that the Ahmed Katrada Foundation has arrived here uh, at the West Park Cemetery.
country. And of course, uh, they will then uh, be conducting a prayer session. There will also be a wreath laying ceremony uh, that will be done here, Ayanda, uh, as we remember uh, the life of Neil Agate. And of course, a number of activists are here, some of the unions that he also uh, formed part of uh, during his time.